For those of you who are regular viewers of this channel, you'll probably wonder how a pair of XR glasses fits into my usual content, so let me explain. In any workshop, we rely on tools to bring our ideas to life, whether it's a 3D printer, a laser cutter, or even just a caliper to get precise measurements. And up until this point, um, most of the tools that I've covered are ones that are directly involved in the making of the final product. However, before we even get to that stage, we often use other tools and technology in the design phase that can make us more efficient, more accurate, and more productive. I often watch other content on YouTube like Adam Savage's Tested segments that covers all sorts of new interesting technology that may even be relevant to us as makers and I've really been interested in exploring this too. So when Ray Neo asked me if I wanted to check out their new Air 3S XR glasses, I almost passed up on the opportunity because they are promoting them mostly for gaming. And don't get me wrong, they certainly do a good job of enhancing your entertainment experience. And we can talk more about that later, but I had a different idea of how I could put them to good use. I thought they had the potential to be a real tool, one that could improve how we design, prototype, and even manage projects on the go. So imagine being able to view your 3D models, designs, or whatever you're working on, on a large 201 inch screen that connects to your phone and conveniently fits in your bag. I thought this could be a big productivity booster. Now you may already be asking how I can work on all of my design stuff with these XR glasses simply connected to my phone. Everyone knows that you'll likely need more computing power. The good news is that I've got a solution for that too, so stick with me while I share with you guys how I've been doing that. But before we get started, you may not even have heard of the Ray Neo Air 3S XR glasses, so let's quickly talk about what these things are and what they are not. So these are XR glasses and they're different than AR and VR glasses. They're not intended to overlay information onto your environment like AR glasses. Uh, think of them more like a giant 201 inch screen for your eyes only. They're surprisingly light at only 78 grams and they've got four speakers built into them that direct sound uh, into your ears and around your ears so you don't have to wear headphones. And the speakers even have a whisper mode so you don't disturb others around you. The display tech inside is pretty incredible and this is my first pair of glasses like this. So I was expecting to see maybe pixels or something like that but it's actually a very natural image produced by two micro OLED screens and I'll throw the color and contrast specs up on the screen rather than just reading out a bunch of random numbers. Now, unfortunately, it's very hard to film what this looks like inside because they obviously fit on your head. But the point is, is that you don't feel like you have a TV screen pushed up against your face. Whatever these things are doing to trick your eyes into adding some depth is working and the colors and contrast actually feels very natural. They even have different color profile modes and an eye protection mode for people who are perhaps more sensitive to eye fatigue. You can adjust the screen brightness on the side, there's a button there. And if you're outdoors on a bright day, you can actually see through the screen enough to navigate with them with these things on your head. Uh, now I've tried that, but I probably wouldn't recommend walking around with them as you could still probably trip on something. The environment has to be pretty bright for you to be able to comfortably see through them. So what have I been doing with these things specifically? First, I've been using them as a portable workstation. So normally when I go out, if I anticipate having the opportunity to work on something, I'll bring my laptop. And most laptops aren't huge, but if you're into video editing or CAD modeling, some of those can be on the larger side and definitely very expensive. Also, if your battery has degraded over the years, then you're also into bringing your power brick and you'll be searching for an outlet. Personally, I hate laptop trackpads, so I'm also bringing a mouse. On top of that, depending on what I'm working on, I'll have to plan ahead and put the files on a shared cloud drive as my main workstation is a desktop computer. So instead, now what I've been doing is ditching the laptop and the power brick and replacing that with the Air 3S glasses. I have a Samsung phone so I can plug the XR glasses into my phone and use the Samsung DeX app for a full desktop experience on the go. With DeX, my phone can now become the trackpad to save bringing a mouse along, but I still do prefer a mouse so I can still connect a Bluetooth mouse or a keyboard to my phone for a full desktop experience right on my face. And best of all, if you're not already aware of the Chrome Remote Access app, 
you can simply access any one of your computers remotely from your phone. So now I don't have to worry about cloud syncing my files. I can just tunnel right into my powerful desktop computer and my phone and the glasses are simply the conduit for this. Now I can work on my 3D models and more on the go with less bulk. The second thing that I found these useful for is multitasking in several ways. So I just explained that with the Ray Neos plugged into your phone and using the Samsung Dex app, the phone can be a trackpad. However, if you exit the trackpad, you can actually use uh, the Dex app and your phone at the same time to multitask. And you can have a dual monitor like situation going on. It's a bit hard to explain, but when you're wearing the glasses and you look straight ahead, you see the screen. But if you look downwards, the bottom third of your visual range is still open. So you can comfortably perform other tasks on your phone like text or use apps that feel more natural in the vertical format. The third thing I've been doing also somewhat ties into multitasking. Since you can look down and see quite a bit below the glasses, I've used them a time or two to watch a YouTube video tutorial while actually fixing something in the lower portion of my visual range. This does take some getting used to, but it's pretty cool to be able to bring the video tutorial with you to the project instead of having to run back and forth between a computer if you don't have a laptop or if you can't bring the project to the computer. I can also see this being useful for sketching, painting, complex assemblies, etc., where you can pin your reference designs, instructions, or images to your glasses and work on your task at the exact same time. And the fourth thing, finally, when you do have some time to unwind, these things are pretty incredible as a portable gaming monitor. Uh, I've been procrastinating getting my budget racing sim set up. I hadn't yet sourced a TV monitor or any speakers, and now I don't have to. I can simply roll my portable sim setup anywhere within reach of an HDMI cable coming out of my Xbox, and you can get a simple HDMI to USB-C video converter, so it's compatible with the glasses, and then you're all set. If you had something portable like a Nintendo Switch, you could take it anywhere and have a nice big screen to go with you, sit in any position you like, and the screen's always right in front of your eyes, no matter what angle you tilt your head. Okay, so a couple more things about these glasses where I think there's a lot of future potential that I would love to see more development. So maybe someone out there is watching and already knows of solutions to the issues that I wanna discuss, uh, but you can put those down in the comment section if you do. So first, Ray Neo does have their own app where they have some pretty cool built-in games as well as 3D video demos. And the 3D demos are very convincing because there are two separate micro OLED screens that can be used to trick your brain into seeing something 3D. Now, I'm not well versed in how this 3D stuff works, but I do have to say that it does work quite a bit better than those red-blue 3D glasses that I've had to use in some movie theaters. With the Rainio app, you can also do some kind of spatial visualization of 2D images from your image gallery on your phone to give them a 3D effect. So I think the next logical step would be to have some kind of software that either converts your 3D models or you can natively view them with the glasses as a spatial model to give you an enhanced visualization of your model during the design phase. Now, the other obvious thing that I can see being done with these glasses is adding some kind of outward facing camera and incorporating some basic AR features. Now, this is already being done with other AR glasses on the market, but I would like to use them for real time collaboration with team members on other projects so that they can also see what you're seeing and what you're working on. Now, although these things have been working great for me, I also wanna point out that there are some hardware changes that I would like to see made in a future model. So first, from my understanding, the iBox in the 3S model has been increased from previous versions for the appearance of an even larger screen. But as a consequence, I think you probably have to be even more careful about how you adjust the arms and the nose piece uh, so the entire screen is perfectly visible. Styling of this device as sunglasses makes them look pretty sleek, but I feel like there could be maybe a more secure option for keeping them on your head, like a headband or something like that, so that they don't shift around. And additionally, because of the vast differences in people's head shapes, nose shapes, or distance between their eyes, I can only imagine how difficult it is to make these a one size fits all application. One challenge that I ran into with my particular nose shape 
was that the nose pieces were just barely enough to allow me to get the glasses close enough to my face for the best viewing experience. The effect for me is that the outermost edges of the screen are approaching the limits of what I can see. Uh, the nose pieces adjust in and out and I had mine in the innermost setting but I felt like they needed about a half notch more inwards so that the outer edges of the screen fit in my field of vision with still a little bit of wiggle room. I removed the nose clip and this does the trick, but it is less comfortable now that the edge of the plastic of the glasses sits directly on the bridge of my nose instead of using those soft pads. I might try and design some kind of soft, low profile nose clip 3D printed using TPU. And now it would be nice if you could adjust the screen size and position inside of the glasses so that you have more leeway with the position of the glasses on your face. The other thing that I think could be easily improved is with the USB-C connection on the arms of the glasses, the included cable is pretty stiff. And I find that depending on where the cable falls down towards my shoulder, it can occasionally cause the glasses to shift a little bit. Now, maybe the cable can be softer and more flexible, or perhaps some kind of a neck clip can be designed to route the cable in a different direction so it isn't directed down towards your shoulder. For now, I've been looping the cable down and around my neck and that keeps it from falling directly onto my shoulders and shifting the glasses every time I move around. So I think that pretty much covers everything. I'm definitely going to keep using them as part of my portable work solution and try and find new ways to integrate them into my design process. If you guys want a pair for yourself, use the link in the video description down below to help support this channel. Also, just let me know in general what you guys think of these XR glasses down in the comment section below. How would you guys foresee yourselves using these things to improve your design workflow or what would you like to see developed for them to make them more applicable to your personal situation? And if you guys have any further suggestions on cool new tech or things you'd like to see me talk about or review, Leave those suggestions in the comment section down below. I do try and get back to everybody. And finally, do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching.